a principal engineer, part of the uh, Chief Technology and Architecture organization, and really focus on bringing emerging technologies uh, into Cisco across the board. And, and so we've been looking at a few years, uh, for a few years, um, uh, at the this computational developments with high performance computing, and we saw it as a fundamental, uh, you know, capability that we wanted to in include in many products. So intelligence in the network is something we're very excited about, and uh, we looked at uh, encrypted network traffic classification. We've looked at uh, video, video compression, and most recently, we looked at enhancing our location-based uh, services, uh, which were Wi-Fi based, with uh, state-of-the-art crowd analytics. But when you get into the real world of processing, uh, you know, 4K cameras with uh, with a lot of occlusion, crowded environments, uh, real world environments, the existing algorithms were breaking down, and so we found that you needed to have the ability to do a deep learning sort of an approach that that uh, could take it to a new level of accuracy. So we were just processing massive amounts of information. There's just no other way to do it than with uh, high performance computing with GPUs. Uh, there's one technology that I'd like a lot more people to start using, which is NVIDIA Docker. What it does is it lets you uh, access all the power of, uh, of Docker. In addition, use the power of the GPU in a way that you don't have to install the, all the drivers inside of each container. And then the containers also become portable. So that's a huge advantage for us. So we can share it you know, across different kinds of machines with different kinds of GPUs. And what that lets you do is we create deep learning pipelines that are agnostic to the, the type of architecture that you're using. Right. So if you're using uh, TensorFlow, or, or even Marvin from Princeton or MXNet or whatever it is. Uh, there's so many platforms out there and so many different approaches. You put them in your Docker container, this NVIDIA Docker container, uh, which also has, you know, QDNN support. And uh, you know, essentially right now there's so much sensor data out there that's just being thrown away. And there are use cases that really kind of, uh, you know, I think will resonate with everyone. For example, uh, they're in hospital environments. They actually lose patients. I mean, they lose them and then they die. And so we can envision that if you had more intelligence tracking where people are, the way they move, you can predict falls. Uh, you know, even just as simple as uh, in a retail environment, we're looking at minimizing uh, queue wait times. So, you know, this, the cameras are there with intelligence that we're adding. You can then go in and you know, optimize and, and, and improve the customer experience by making it so that people don't have to wait forever. The Australian Open, uh, the organizers for the Australian Open came to us and they said, look, we we're working with a lot of different partners, but no one can really do the, the uh, accurate crowd analytics, you know, tracking people, locating them, giving us density estimations. And we basically demonstrated what we had. This is work based on a tremendous amount of open source out there and open research. And so the research community has been tremendous. We would be nowhere without that. We're probably moving away from the, uh, the video analytics and doing more with intelligence in the network. We see uh, you know, things uh, that we're, where we can optimize the data center, the deployment of virtual machines. Uh, you, know, you have large uh, you know, uh, federations of data centers. How, does that, how do you optimize all that? And, and orchestration as well is something that we really want to look into.